There's free relief and there's penalty relief. This is what some people would consider an unplayable lie. Some wouldn't, right? Unless you need me in your left hand. Not a left hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's lots of things you can do. You can pop it out this way. You can hit backward. I bet John could kind of do that. Um, there's a lot of things that certain people with certain skills might do. It definitely feels more unplayable to me. So I'm going to say I'm going to take penalty relief for an unplayable lie. I make that decision. That is one of your options. So penalty relief for an unplayable lie, you have three options. The first one's always our favorite. I can go back stroke and distance to the location of my last shot and take a drop there. If it was in the teeing area, I have to go back there for any reason, I can tee it up again. That's one option. What's another option for penalty relief for an unplayable lie? Uh, you can go back um, line of sight. Very close. You don't have to go back to the all the way back to the tee box, but you go back as far as you want to go back without improving. Very, very, very good. Right. So I'm going to basically take where the ball is sitting as my reference point, and I look at the flag and it's called back on the line. It's not line of flight, kind of line of sight, but it's not line of flight. It's not where it came from. It's where is it going? It's going to the hole. I can go back as far as I want, keeping the point between the ball. Thank you, thank you. Between the ball and the flag, I can keep backing up. Now sometimes this will bring me to a flatter lie, shorter grass, things like that, or far enough from the tree that tell me this is okay. Now I still have some issues because it's got to stay low. You know, do I want to hit a wood here and maybe, I guess, play it back in my stance, John, um, to make it stay low? Um, eh, maybe, maybe, it's an option. I still haven't touched the ball because I don't know for sure what I want to do. So that is an option, go back as far as I want. Can I drop in another teeing area? Yes. As long as you keep yeah, the as long line. As it's the That's line right. Between where the ball is and the pin. That's it. I can go anywhere. I'm paying penalty relief. I'm paying for this. I'm paying good money. I'm entitled to drop wherever the heck I want. <laughs> um, and that can be anywhere, right? As long as it's straight. It could be in a bunker. It could be anything, right? Okay. So that's another option. That's option number two. Option number three is lateral relief. We talked about a club length. The definition of a club length is your longest club in your bag, except for your putter. Some people have those really long belly putters. If you have a, a driver that day, then that's your longest club in your bag. So you get to know how long this is and you estimate it because you don't have to measure it with it, but it's helpful um, just to kind of eyeball it. So that's a club length. So the lateral relief option, and this repeats itself. This back on the line, stroke and distance lateral, it applies in other scenarios too, besides an unplayable lie. You mark it and then dro you drop it knee height? Um, yes, you would. So I'm paying for it. So I get two club lengths. Don't get too generous with yourself. Don't go out here. Go about here. I'm measuring, oops, measuring that there. I'm going to measure it here, also two club lengths. And then the same thing here. So I have a half circle and on your handouts you have some diagrams of that relief area. So now I can go further this way if I want to take my drop or I can go up here, whatever I prefer as long as I'm within those two club lengths, right, left and back, no closer to the hole, I can take my drop. Now I'm going to pick it up because I made a decision. When you've been playing for a while and you know what those are, you don't have to go through all of them, right? You'll make a decision quickly. Um, most often people do like this. I would take this one. Yeah. And maybe I'd go right here and take my drop. <laughs> one stroke. That's right. All of these options, one stroke penalty. That's correct. Yes. One stroke penalty. Penalty relief, one stroke penalty. And in level two, we talk about what happens when you drop it and it rolls and drop it and it rolls, those kinds of things. Um, so that, those are your options on an unplayable lie. Let's talk about free relief. That was penalty relief that you chose to do. Let's talk about free relief from the car path. 